Last year, our, our, our football team, offensively, defensively, went into a new conference. Really didn't know what to expect. Now they know what to expect. You know, they know they know the the, the, the size, the speed, the athleticism that they're going to be playing on a, on a weekly basis. So I think that it's just it's invaluable. You know, the, the experience that our guys got last year to help us uh, move forward this year. Well, we got to find out what what SoCon was all about. We obviously saw the speed and the. Um, um, the physicalness of the so SoCon and, and realize what we have to match to win. Um, you know, we, f we felt like we had a good year, but obviously we didn't have enough to win the games that we were in. You can expect a lot of what you saw last year. We're going to continue to try to run the ball, mix it up, throw it, take our chances deep, and, you know, try to keep defense on their heels, try to keep them from crowding the box, stopping the run, and throw it to guys like JT and Chandler so they can get those big plays. Well, I think you kind of hit, hit upon uh, that's what we've been kind of we, we've been preaching all, all, all since since uh, spring practice and you know, morning workouts about finishing. Okay, everything that we, we talk about is finishing, finishing the drill, finishing the play. So now finishing the half, finishing the game. So that's that's a big word that our that our football team's been hearing over and over and over and over from from from, the, from all the, on both sides of the football. So I think that's it's 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 a it's a mindset. Okay, they they see how close we. That how close we are, but still we're far away in how we have to, you know, those, you, you miss a play here, you miss a play there, that costs you a ball game. I'm looking forward to see how we, how we take last year and learn from it and, and get over that hump to win, win the ball game. Uh, you know, the first game is obviously what we're focused on now, but you know, I just can't wait for the SoCon play and, and get into it and, you know, start winning SoCon games. I, I, I look forward to that. I look forward to just, I look forward to Saturdays. Tyler is just, you know, is, is really matured and grown. And, and this will be his, his third year. He'll be a junior starter for us. And, and you can just see see his, his mindset, okay, how he's changed in, in, in the three years he's been here. Because he's a good football player. He loves to play the football. He loves to play the game. And, but he's, he is now accepted more. And that was challenged. You know, we challenged him as a coaching staff uh, about being a leader and being more vocal. And, and he's really he's really taking that role and running with it. So we're very very excited about that. Alex is just a tremendous football player, and, and, and he just he's a very quiet. Okay, he leads by example. Um, but when it's time when when the lights are on, he go play. And, 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 and knowing that you have a running back like that is is, is tremendous for, for our football team. You're going to see the next step. Okay, I think that's that this football team. I've watched. They've been working very very hard this summer. I mean the, the mentality. And you're talking to Coach Mangle down at the weight room and the way they're attacking this thing and just talking to the players. You know, they, they, they want to prove something. They, they really do. They, they want to prove that they, they really belong and we're going, to win, we're going to win those close games. How many we win, I'm not sure. But I, I think the mentality and the mindset is a whole lot different than it was last year going into that. Because the uncertainty last year, I think they know and you know what it's going to take for us to, to, to you know, to beat a, beat a, a UT Chattanooga who's our reigning champs.